Hi and welcome back to the King Cole YouTube channel. Today we're going to look at the initially the half fisherman's rib. There are various ways of doing um, the stitch that people call fisherman's rib so this is this is the first one which is the half fisherman's rib and then later we're going to look at the um, what I would class as the full fisherman's rib um, but let's get started with this one and then hopefully you'll be able to see um, the difference. So in order to get this started you actually knit the first row. So I'm just going to really simply do a UK knit stitch and I've put um, sort of 21 stitches on to this just to give you um, a small piece that you can see well I hope. So <clears throat> that's just my first row. So that's just your plain plain knit row. Okay then we're going to go straight into the fisherman's rib. So we slip the first stitch and then knit one below. So K1B is the knit one below and what you're actually doing is knitting not into your normal bit of your stitch there but you're going into the loop underneath it. So that's the bit you need to be in and then you work a normal knit stitch and slip it off. Okay we'll do a couple more. Um, the next stitch is a purl one so just a normal purl. Then we're going to K1B again so I'm going into this stitch here and next is a purl so going into the one below again so it's alternating a K1B with a purl stitch so K1B Pearl, and we're going to work this all the way across the row and what it's doing is fattening, it's, it's widening the fabric and it's also shortening this so you actually end up working more rows um, when you're working this stitch. So nearly there at the end. one K1B and then you can either knit or purl that last stitch but you, you do a standard stitch whichever you choose. I'm just going to do um, a purl one for that. Now I so said this is half fisherman's rib which means you're only working the K1B every other row so I'm now going to work um, a knit row so I'm going to slip my first stitch and then knit across and what I'll show you in a second is you can see here there's actually I'll just pop my needle in and show you there's actually two strands of knitting there have yarn but we're not working into them we are just working a nice simple knit row all the way across And then I'm just going to work when we get to the end. I'm just going to show you again because obviously that's how how you would start it. Um, so that is a very simple knit row. And then you look here, you, you've got a row of pearls there. That's going to vanish in a moment as we work the next row again. So you're starting to see these slightly fat knit stitches here. So the back of this is your purl. We're going to slip our first stitch and then again we're working the knit one below. So that's your normal stitch. This is the extra loop and you're going in underneath it. Wrap, bring it back through and off. 
then you purl one and then again we don't go in there we're going in underneath this so that you're getting that double thickness and as you pull you can see how they're starting to disappear the pearl rows starting to disappear so again knit one below so we're going into the hole pearl one one below, pearl one, working nice and evenly across the row. Don't rush this stitch because if you go wrong it is incredibly difficult to pick it up, rip a small amount back or even unpick it back um, and know exactly where you are. It can be really tricky. So although it's not a difficult stitch to do you do need to concentrate so we finish with a knit one below and then either a knit or a purl stitch whatever you prefer at the end so you can see here how we're starting to get the the deeper wider ones i'm just going to um fairly quickly do one more row so that you can then see what it looks like. So I've slipped my first stitch and I'm knitting across it. So a simple knit across there. And you can see it's taking a while for, for the fabric to get longer. If you were doing standard um, ribbing, it would already be longer than this. So you slip your first stitch. Then here you can see how they're now starting to look like knit stitches further down. So you do your K1B. Purl one. Another K1B. Purl one. K1B, pearl one, and work your way across. K1B, pearl one, K1B, pearl one, K1B, pearl one. K1B, pearl one, K1B, and then the final pearl one. So you can see here how you're getting two slightly different sides. There is a definite difference to the sides. So these you're getting every other stitch that's looking quite a lot fatter at that point. And it's almost, even though it's still ribbing, it's smoother on the other side. So that is the half fisherman's rib where you do a knit row and then you do a row of K1B purl one across. Um, so we'll next we're going to have a look at the full fisherman's rib.